What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the For Us podcast, the podcast for you. And for us. Hey, we got to, hey, come I on. I like looking at you. Come on. Get into it. If you're listening right now, there's a there's a f- couple things that's different right now if you're not watching. One, my wife's hair. I chopped my hair off. Is chopped. Chopped. Literally nine inches. Dang, it was that much? Yeah, it was crazy. And it's darker. Yes. It ain't black. Y'all know I like the black. It's close. It's like a chocolate brown. Oh, we, like, we like a chocolate brown. I like chocolate. Baby, I love your hair. Thank you. Your hair looks amazing. Thank you. And uh, number two, we're going to come back to the hair. I got something to say, actually, about okay. the hair. Okay. Um, but number two, we are in our studio. We are in, We everybody clap. Everybody give a hand clap of praise for our studio. We have been saying for, like, maybe the past, like, two months, like, we promised, guys, we're going to be in our studio soon, which, yeah. obviously, we were, it was... Like some steps that needed to happen to get here. Yeah. And we're here. But can we just preface? Okay. You know, I just need to preface. Go for it. Because I honestly think that it looks good. Like this is so makeshift right now. Not too makeshift, but a lot is going to happen in here. And my whole thing was, I was like, I don't want to shoot in the studio until it's like perfectly the way I want it. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? You guys are family. This is actually kind of cool if you can come along with us for the evolution. So we have a lot of things like in store. We're getting a new rug, new coffee table. This is just like an end table right now. Yeah bookshelves behind josh's side and then color yeah we need some color we got a lot of like neutrals which we like but we're i'm in my color era for sure for sure you are so yeah a lot a lot that needs to happen and it's going to be kind of cool because i feel like each week hopefully we'll get something new and it'll kind of like all transform Mm -hmm. over the next like month or so yeah this is this is cool like we it feels more official. You know, I'm in my professional podcast. You are a professional, baby. <laughs> no, and just even like the technical side of things, like we're really tapping into this podcast space. I'm super excited just for now and just for like the new year. Mm-hmm. Um, We're going to, I can't share too much. There's okay. just going to be so much. I kind of like really just cringed so hard. That, that I you, did that? I can't share too much. Yeah, no, yeah, it's cool. We're going to have cool. way more guests, a lot okay. of special people that y'all have been wanting us to have on the podcast. People that y'all probably were like, how the heck y'all even, why that even? Um, some some really cool people. Um, like we said, the set, we're going to be traveling. Um, it's going to be very fun. Can we just first, I know we've had like a lot of disclaimers, prefaces, okay. but we need to address the fact that your feet are touching the ground okay. and mine are like literally two feet from the ground. But you know what we actually need to actually address? And because you said this, I was going to say something. And this is like, uh, fellas, I'm sorry. I'm wearing Nike socks and gazelles. Why'd you do that? Because they were. You ran out of socks? They, I think I ran out of socks. You have, I just, there's a bunch of clean laundry. It's on top of the dryer socks. I didn't see that, baby. Dang. That's crazy. Well, we gonna, this wide shot is not going to be a shot. I'll tell you that much. Also, if you see us, we're looking this way because there's a monitor right here. That is actually not going to be right here, but we're using it. I told Josh right to get rid of this because it's a full big TV yeah. and the monitor is going to be smaller, right? Yeah. So it's quite distracting and I keep having the urge to look because oh, I want to see looking. how good you look. I'll be, all right, chill, Sorry. chill, chill, chill. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing Nike socks and some Adidas and that's just that's terrible. Just I'm wearing my Disney, uh, my Disney World hoodie though. We I'll rock Disney some World. Disney merch. You know what's crazy? I said we just went to Disney World. Before we went, I was like, I'm just the type of person that if I never go to Disney World or Disneyland another day in my life, I will be fine. Yeah. And then we went, and I changed my mind. She changed her mind. Like, it's, I'm ready to go back. Savannah, I don't know. First off, I don't know if you're American saying that. I don't understand. I know. No, I know. That's, like, definitely a hot take, and I feel like a lot of people are probably super offended by me saying that. Offended but is crazy. Have you heard of Disney adults? Yes, I'm not a Disney adult. Yeah, okay, that was, ex- that was you, probably, you definitely probably offended no, someone No, no, no. Okay, sorry. I didn't, I'm sorry. No, I just need you guys to understand, like, I just... Some people have, like, a big connection from their childhood, and they're Disney adults. Like, my cousin, for example, she's a Disney adult. She is? Yes. Oh, okay, I didn't She's know a that. full Disney sleeve. Okay, well, there's, like, there's, like, there is a negative... Thing oh to really? Disney. Like, what Not a mean? negative thing, but people be making fun of Disney adults. Oh. I saw it on TikTok. Like Disney adult is compared to to something. I don't think it's a negative thing. I just know for sure. Like you either know if you're a Disney adult, you're either a Disney adult or you're not. Like there's not really an in between. I don't think. Yeah. We are not Disney adults. I'm not a Disney adult, but I really love Disney. But World. we love it. Yeah. You can be. You can love Disney without being a Disney adult. Yeah. We went to Disney with our friends, and then like a month before that, we went to Disneyland. I went for yeah. the first time. Which is crazy because we are literally not Disney people. Not at all. But we doing it, and I love. I want to go again. 
I know. That's what I said. Like, I'm ready to go back. It was, it really makes sense why they call it Disneyland or Disney World because it truly feels like you're in a different world. Yeah, for sure. It's like a whole little magical kingdom. And yeah, let's do a draft. Maybe I don't think that we let's do a do draft. Okay. Let's do a draft. And I, I you, in honor of our new space, this is like our first. And when we first started our podcast, we did drafts. And if you're new, if you're a new listener, a draft is essentially we come up with a topic. Somebody, uh, we both go back and forth and draft their top five, their starting five of that topic. Okay. Let's do uh, transportation. And who, I know, and I know you got some written down. Who gets to go first? Rock paper scissors. You don't. Oh, you I forgot. forgot. Come yeah. On, okay. Shorty. Ready? Come on. I think we should do ladies first. Honestly. Yeah, but not yeah, for a draft. Okay. Yeah. Come on, ready? Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. I knew you was gonna switch it up, and I and I don't know why I left it. I went crazy. You can have it. All right. Wait, I actually forgot because I went back and forth on what my number one should be. Yeah. I don't have anything written down. I'm off the dome. Let's okay, go. cool. My number, number one. one is car. Yeah, you definitely get that. 100%. Because, yeah, I don't even have to explain it, actually. Yeah, number one's car. car. I'm going to uh, go motorcycle. Babe, are you being serious? You're being for real. What are we basing this off That's of? That's horrible. A mo- I'm th- I thought we were basing it off of how cool. Okay, yeah, sure. Whatever you think. But motorcycle, I vote an absolute no because that is unsafe. Motorcycle number one. Okay, my number two is plane. Okay, but I'm thinking like, okay, plane is cool. Plane, like. See, see, now you're going cool. Because like, first I was going like convenience. Like if I need to get somewhere. Convenience is a motorcycle. (laughs) I'm just thinking. We live in the Pacific Northwest. I'm thinking of like short term driving, getting places. Really? That's where your head is. Okay. Go ahead. Walking. That was on my list. Gotta walk. Get them steps in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. My number three is subway slash train. Because I love New York. Hey, shout out to this right here. I love the subway. It gives me such a good feeling, like, in my belly area. Yeah. Subway train. My number is three. That was my third, yeah. My number three, I'm going to go, you said subway train? Mm -hmm. What else is there? Uh, I got a lot. I'm going to go bicycle. Okay. Like, yeah, just a bike. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Okay, my number four. Yeah. I'm doing e-bike, electric bike. That's better than a regular bike. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. My number four. No, oh, this is your number five. It's my number five? No, you started. Oh, yeah, your number four. Sorry. My number four, Uh, how are we getting around around town? Uber. Or does that not count? That's a car. That's a car? Yeah. That is a car. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. Helicopter. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got money. No, I don't like a helicopter. Why? Because it's, like, really bumpy and, like, it's not peaceful. But, like, a plane, though? Is... I would choose a plane over a helicopter I'm just saying, a plane turbulence is wild. No, but I would choose a plane I'd be over. pumping on them boys. Okay, my last one is jetpack. A jetpack? That's really actually should have been my first. You've a jetpack? Yes. You when be, have you ever been on a jetpack? On a jetpack, in crazy. a jetpack, whatever. No, a it's jet so pack cool because you can walk. It's like all. It's like a three in one actually, because you get walking and then you can just zoom up. A jetpack is actually wild. <laughs> I mean, actually insane. <laughs> um. All right. Well, y'all let us know who won that. Uh, we I definitely bring, won. I'm sorry. We might bring them drives back. No, we're at not. some point. No, we got to do them every now and then. They are fun. Okay. Yeah. I guess. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, okay, I have, I, have, I have something to say. Okay. I didn't, I didn't bring this up to you before the episode started, but you cut your hair. Mm-hmm. We posted it to TikTok. We posted it to shorts, posted it everywhere or whatever. And for some reason, the YouTube shorts family, some of them, I won't say all of them. Actually, let me just say this. I just have a problem. Okay. This is my thing. I have a problem with a few things. When you were mentioning that you were wanting to cut your hair, mm-hmm. people, I just don't understand people having the audacity to say, do not cut your hair. Well, I'm asking for an opinion. No. But okay, but here's my thing, though. Like, don't tell me not to cut my hair just because you look pretty, lo- like your hair looks pretty longer. Or um, I don't, there was just so, some certain reasons why people were telling you not to cut your hair. And I'm just like, who are you to tell me not to cut my hair? Well, you see what I'm saying? Yes. Do you but follow me? I do. But 
if you ask for an opinion, especially just in the social media world, they're going to give their opinion. But why would someone tell you not to cut your hair? Because they well, like, like it. Give me like, they don't like cut your it. hair, but because They like of this. it better long. But no, those weren't, see, okay. Or it un- looks pretty long, like don't cut it. I can understand that. But some people, there was just a side of like, I could just sense it. Like they didn't want, they, they can't cut their hair. Or they don't think they will look good cutting their I just I just can't fathom someone telling me not to do something, I guess. Really? Oh, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, like don't don't tell me not to cut my hair. Yeah. I don't I don't mind it because it'd be one thing if I was like, guys, I'm cutting my hair next week. I'm so excited. Like if that was the caption and then everyone's like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Even then still I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Like if you don't think I should cut my hair, that's great. I'm gonna do what I want. Mm -hmm. But like for the opinion, like me asking, that's definitely it's not even unwarranted like <sighs> maybe people. i just can't articulate what i'm actually trying to say okay my another my next thing is though we posted it to shorts and it was literally only on shorts that's absolutely insane but a lot of people were commenting no why did you do that you looked prettier oh you someone said like you look younger if you leave your hair um short if you leave your hair long or whatever oh i uh, look younger with long hair yeah with longer hair i don't understand that by the way i feel like a short haircut is like it's very adultish it um no you look prettier longer uh it's cute i guess but the, like there was just a lot of just really that's so funny i do i don't think i've ever read a youtube short comment ever really i'm gonna i i, I, I don't know what it was about it that just made me feel like I'm not commenting on someone's thing. Oh, definitely. And saying you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Who are you? Yes, I understand. We're influencers. People the are going to give their opinion. People are going to give their opinion. But it's like, is that an opinion? Isn't it so crazy, actually, too, that people will say, like, you looked prettier with long hair. It's so crazy how, like, something like that can change your appearance. Like, yes, it does. But... My face didn't change. Yeah. Like, isn't that crazy? But they're like, oh, you looked prettier before. But it's like, I still literally have the same exact face. My hair is just different. But I don't know. I don't, that stuff like doesn't really bother me I just don't, I can't get someone. uh, I'm just like, if I like it, I'm happy. Honestly, all I care about is if you like it. Like I used to be, I will say, I feel like I used to care a lot, especially like on Instagram or just in my everyday life, like what other people thought. Mm-hmm. And now I literally do not care if I like what I'm wearing or if I like what I look like. Yeah. I'm happy. No, baby, I love it. And that. I like your opinion. Yeah. That's it. And you know, that's how I am. I'm not talking about people comment. Not, not, not about the opinion thing. I saw this comment. I mean, it looks good, but you always get the same haircuts, either a little longer or a bob. Switch it up, girl. And yeah. then a few people liked it. What does that even mean? For starters, what else can you get? You want to go bald? No, they want me to do like a mid length, I guess. Because they're saying You've either done a mid. Your hair was mid length because to get to long, it had to be mid length. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like maybe you they always don't get the, like that's like that's a hater con. That's hating. Definitely, that's maybe not- they're not on board for the drastic change. They're like, whoa, you went like too drastic for their liking. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't that. That's, that's, there's a difference in like, cause like, here's one. No, long is better. Short looks bad. That's Short like, looks bad. it's just right. like, whatever. But that other comment is like, why are you telling me that? Yeah. I don't understand it. So if it was you that like totally switched up your hair and you were getting those comments, would you feel a type of way? Um, like, would it like, if I saw like all? the comment before that like pointless, like you, yeah, then yeah, I would feel a type of way. Really? Not, not that's in a, crazy. I the type of way that I'm feeling now. Like okay. I'm not like I don't. You're not like actually hurt. No, I'm definitely, and I'm not even hurt for you. I just can't fathom someone doing that. Yeah. And if you are doing that, why are you doing that? No, it's crazy. I mean, obviously, it's such a real thing. Like I just had something come up on my for you page. Well, it was a girl actually, like I guess you could say, hating on influencers, and basically really? saying she's so sick of seeing influencers on her for you page. And that was such an interesting like line to hear because I'm like, TikTok is what is TikTok? Right. Like, granted, there's obviously a lot of other like niches. There's like she was saying she only wants to see like dog content, like baby animals and like humor, Mm. which there's so many different niches. So it makes sense. But she said she was just sick of seeing influencers. She's like, I don't want to see someone. It's so like consumerism. I don't want to see someone telling me like what the next product I need, all this stuff. So what do you want? 
Because then you're going to go on TV. Oh, did she say what she wants? She said she wants, remember, she wants baby, like baby animals, dogs, and like humor. Like she doesn't want the everyday. Oh, that's what else she was saying. She does not like the vlogs, a TikTok vlog. She's like, how are you going to just show the best parts of your day? It's not realistic. It's still the, the, the like best parts of your day and the parts that you choose to show. And I'm like, okay, yes and no. It still is realistic just because you choose what part you put in. And just because you're not going to show yourself getting naked and getting in the shower or like, you right. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, obviously you're choosing the parts you put in, but it can absolutely still be realistic. That's interesting. Yeah. So I just think it's like another kind of avenue because influencers will always get hate, like, hate, right. no matter what. Yeah. Because, well, and just anyone, honestly, it's like sad, but it's the truth. Anyone with a platform or anyone... I don't know who this girl was or if she had like a following or whatever. It doesn't matter. But she may feel attacked in some type of way. Like maybe she wants to do that and she can't Mm -hmm. like hurt people, hurt people. So I don't know. I just think it's silly because it's like, who cares? Like, don't waste your time hating on the type of content that someone else is creating. When what I do, if I'm getting content on my for you page that I don't like, say not interested. You can search on TikTok. You can go in and put keywords and stuff that you don't want to see. I don't know that. Yeah, like you can, there's ways around it. So it's just like, it's just silly to me. And it's not even just because it's obviously what we do, but mm-hmm. I'm just like, that's just being a good person at the end of the, at the, end of the day. Right. Like you don't have to hate on something that someone else is doing just because you don't like it. What do you have um, hidden? What did you, what words are, are hidden for you? Um, I only have a few. It actually was when I stopped breastfeeding with Starly. And my whole for you page was postpartum breastfeeding everything. And it was just like, I don't want to see this anymore. Like Mm. it's something that I'm going through. I don't want to see it. It's unnecessary, unrelevant. Yeah. It was like triggering for me. So I pretty much every combination of breastfeeding, breastfed, nursing mom, like literally every hashtag you could think of is all like not on my thing. I wish this was a thing when I was struggling with porn because I would have been blocking booty on TikTok or any anywhere blocking booty i'm just crazy. saying blocking no. booty uh okay yeah, and we, booty and booty <laughs> and breast that, that would have been easy for me yeah then I, I mean not easy it would have been easier yeah i didn't even know this was a feature no yeah it's really actually cool and i also have other stuff blocked like i don't ever want to see anything like regarding death right or like loss yeah. of just anyone i yeah. just that's just like a personal preference and anyways it's really cool so Saying that all to say, if you don't want to see it, there's ways to not see it. And I will never understand people hating on someone just because they don't like it or it's not their taste. Yeah. Like, then don't watch it. Literally don't watch it. I'm very curious, this person's profile. I wish I person, saved the TikTok. Like, does she have followers? Is she an influencer of some sort herself? Right. Let's see. Wild. I feel um, like I saved it. But, so this is where, like, it gets tricky when it comes to social media and I'm going to share like from our point of view, because I could see what she's saying as far as the realistic part of vlogs. Let's just say that. Cause we do vlogs on just everywhere, but we do them on TikTok or whatever. And you go on TikTok and you see people, you go on social media and you just see people romanticizing their life, mm-hmm. put some dope music behind it. Um, you look kind of good. You got the good lighting. You're making that breakfast that looks muy bien, delicious. Mm-hmm. And, you know, everything looks good or whatever. And people could be, it's. I mean, for one, it's not relatable. But people do eat that stuff up, though. Yeah. So that's my only thing. But I recently saw this on, I had it in my saved. Let me see if I can find it. I think it was saying something about is romanticizing do you think it's healthy or delusional to romanticize your life? So TikTok creating videos and romanticizing and making it look nice for social media is one thing. And that's like not your lifestyle, but it's another thing when you're just doing it. Uh, when you're, when it's, when it's like actually you're practicing romanticizing your life. Do you agree with people do you romanticize your life? What do you, th- what's the definition of romanticizing your life? I think, I mean, making everything like aesthetic. Well, I like think, making everything like very cookie cutter your life. Like I think romanticizing your life is absolutely healthy and really? I think it's great. Yeah. Because like, what is well, your well, to me, it's something as simple as 
we we make ourselves a dinner at home and do like a date night and like I light some candles and put on like some smooth jazz like that to me is like romanticize something that's super normal just eating dinner together but you light a candle and you turn on some music and that to me is like okay I romanticized but that's not but that's yes I agree to that but like doing that constantly and all the time like like that's not real life that's not like real or is it but you know what I'm saying like is it some sort of delusion doing that constantly I guess I don't think so no really do you think so I think so because it's like you're not doing that all the time. You're not out at a restaurant in at home. So, all are the you time. referring to posting it all the time, or just like in general? No, 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 posting it. No, nothing. Just like just the in act. general. Let's just talk about life. Okay, so not posting anything. Posting is, I am not with posting, for, just for starters. Not with posting. If what? you're if you're not about that life, if that's not your actual lifestyle, like posting it to social media, post mm-hmm. being like just making everything look good. I'm not about that. Okay. On social media. Okay. Do you agree or disagree? I guess I agree. But I feel like who's, like, what would be an example of that? Like, who is making everything look really good, but that's not, is that a thing? I guess. 100%. And I mean, that's someone not- could say we make things look good, but I'm, like, not trying, but. Really? Yeah, like, I mean. So, like, example would be I'm doing a morning routine. And my house looks picture perfect. Everything's clean. My bed is made. Everything's really in order. But the flip side is like my house actually doesn't look like that. And I cleaned it up for the video. Yeah. That would be. That's romanticizing your life. I don't think that's romanticizing your life. I think that's just um, making like your content look good. Yeah. I mean, that's like romantic. It's like you're you're making you something that's not. Actually, but like that's posing. not romanticizing. That would be something different. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's more so posing. Or like, like say I'm shooting something. And I have a big pile of laundry behind me. I'm like, oh, let me move that. But I'm, I've done that. We've done that. Yeah. Let's move this mess out of the back of our shot. Like that's just, that's just like a part of life. That's not part of life though. So you don't think we should? So when we shoot or vlog something, like you know, we've like moved something like a big. You don't think that that's healthy? Um, not all the time. Well, not, maybe not all the time, but I'm like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I was just shooting a reel, for example, especially it was for a brand. That's what I was going to, that's where I was going. I mean, if it we're working and it's like for a brand deal. I want it to look as nice as possible. But even then, who are we thinking about? Are we thinking about the, like, what if this is just how we're going to present? Well, I'm just saying like, I'm not going to have like all this stuff piled on my counter when I have a, an object that needs to be the main event yeah and i have like all this distracting stuff i don't know i think i agree with you i think to a certain extent like if you're constantly having to like clean up your not even your mess but just like make something look like it's not i don't think that's necessarily correct and that would be so exhausting right to always have to be like turn a switch and be like let me make sure everything's this is what it looks like even though it's actually not what my house looks like even though i would actually never do this Mm -hmm. that's when it becomes like weird because I don't know. Yeah, creating some like creating a different narrative that's not actually what you do. Yeah, I just feel like that's. Yeah, I feel like that's just all what's on TikTok, and I think for me, how do we get away from from that? Because I don't want someone to watch us and be like, "Oh, they're just romanticizing their life." Wait. So hold on. You think romanticizing your life outside of posting outside of social media is not good and you think it's delusional and unhealthy yes no you don't yeah i don't think it's i think i think if it's constant i think you have the definition of romanticizing your life mixed up i don't think so what do you think romanticizing your life is what you were saying as far as i'm just saying if someone's doing like romanticizing a moment yeah constantly like let's be real You know what I'm saying? I guess. What do you think? What What's well, your... Well, what, what do you think is, like, delusional about it or unhealthy? Like, let's come, like, back to Like, Earth. give an example. Um. Uh. Let's see. I mean... Make, like... When it comes to even, like, cooking something... I, like, I've seen it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. There's... Or social media. There's well, okay, pe- we're talking about not posting. Well, that's still romanticizing your life, though. 
No, I remember we were saying like just in everyday life, like say you never posted it to TikTok. But still, I want to hear this example. If like someone's cooking. cooking something and like the egg on the avocado toast looks like so perfect and there's like no avocado spilt on the plate and like you're wiping it up and it's you're just trying to make everything look and feel perfect. Yeah. And it's But how not. do you know it how do you know they wiped up the spill? Like how do you know it wasn't Exa- a perfect egg? Cuz I've I've made a perfect egg. <laughs> you ain't make no dog on perfect egg. No, I have. I have. Romantic- like I'm saying there's no like at a restaurant, yeah, it's acceptable at a five-star restaurant because they are literally but like your everyday life you doing that, taking the initiative to I have made your life? a picture perfect coffee before. That's, That's not okay. We're talking about two different things. Romanticizing your life, though it's become a social media trend, is largely centered around finding joy, love, and peace within yourself. It's the process of structuring not only your days and routines, but how you see the world so that you're always putting yourself in the path of beauty. I think we're talking about two different things. I think we're talking about romanticizing your life and then creating a picture perfect when it's not actually the right, the real narrative and it's not actually pic- picture perfect. But even perfect. that definition saying like you're structuring your life, even just that. A love, joy, what was it? Like I who wouldn't want every day to be finding joy, love, and peace within yourself? Yeah. That, that right there, that's hold it for me. Like I think rom- romanticizing your life is amazing. Okay, but what about when real life happens? And you have been just romanticizing your life and it's not love, joy, and peace. Well, yeah. I mean, you have to be like, have a, your uh, head on straight so and I'm be saying, like, like, yeah, how do you, how does one react to that? Like, how does, if you, well, if this it's is not saying that you're centered around finding love, joy, and peace. So I think that everyone should strive for that. Like, why would you not wake up every single day and be like, how can I make this the best day? How can I see love, joy, and peace in every situation that I go through today? Yeah. And then obviously you have to be realistic and know that like every day is not like that. And so I think, I guess what maybe you're thinking is you wake up every day, you think everything's perfect. And then you're like out of touch with reality because you're like, oh yeah, this is the way it's supposed to be. This is my normal day. Everything's perfect. I make my coffee. I go to work. I do this. I do that. I work out. Everything is just like cookie cutter. This is the way it is. And then something happens and like you get a curveball, and you're like, wait, no, this is not what my life is. Yeah. So I think that's what you're trying to say. I think that's where I'm at with it. Yeah, I think romanticizing your life is good, but you have to understand that it's not reality every single day to have this big, beautiful, love, joy, and peace Pause. So how is that good if it's not reality? Like, we should always be in reality. No. Besides, okay, we're not supposed to be of this world. As Christians, we're not supposed to be of this world, and we're, you know, supposed to bow. We're not supposed to bow to society and what's going on, but... Well, but this is saying just the, the, if we're re- like uh, going off of this definition, finding love, joy, and peace every day, mm-hmm. I think that that's like, even as Christians, like, why would we not strive for that every single day? It's the, so it's healthy, I think, to romanticize your life if you want. I don't even know. Like, that term is weirding me out now that that's we've been saying, saying it so much. Let's just be, like, how about just be real every single day? No, yeah, the term is weirding me out the more we say it. But I think going off that definition, finding love, joy, and peace striving to find that every day. I think that that is a good thing, but the flip side is you have to be realistic. Right. And if you're just not, and you're like, oh, I'll never face this, I'll never walk through that, then that's when it's like, okay, you're well, you're gonna be literally slapped in your face when yeah. something happens and you're like, oh, that wasn't a part of my story that I romanticized. Right. What's your thoughts? This was going around on social media. There's this guy, which I don't see the big deal, because I feel like everyone's been doing this, but there's this dude who did like a day in the life TikTok um, montage vibe, like music over it. And he showed probably everything possible as far as like the process of his day. So like prop the camera up, got out of the bed, prop the camera up, walked into the bathroom, prop the camera up, um, went to Target, drove up, prop the camera up, walked into Target with the camera propped. Walk, prop the camera up in Target in the checkout line. Um, like he's showing all of it. Like the camera's over there. I'm in the checkout line right here. Like he, it's far away. Had to go back and go get that, and then um, left Target, propped it up. Like it was a full. Everyone's like roasting this dude. Why? For exactly that's what I thought this was a normal thing. But like if you watch it, it is borderline like. I don't, I, 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 I see what he's doing, 
But it is borderline, like, the camera is, like, at the end of the row, bro. And you you have to go. Everyone's talking about, like, picture him walking back to go get the camera and Who stuff cares? like that. Who cares? That's what I said. I don't no, understand. No, I don't. No, he should not be roasted for that. He is literally. No, I mean, like, people are roasting this dude. For what? Because, like, well, it does go to the fact of, you know, people crack jokes at the people who do the wake up out of bed. Yeah. But like, but before that, you turn the camera on. Yeah. Before you. Did. I literally just shot a reel like that. Um. So people are, like, already, like, that vibes. But I guess people are sick and tired of that. Is that that's romanticizing your life? That's like. No, that's not fair. Why I think fair? that's just he, people are attacking him. They're hating on because I guess more often than not, you don't see the behind the scenes. You don't see the people. What we do, what everyone does, you have to set up the tripod. You have like, that's literally all a part of it. Like, how are you going to document the moment if you don't set the camera up first and then go back? How are you going to show your morning routine? What you can't have a person fly into your room and put a camera there without you ever waking yeah. up. Like, I guess that's what the people are saying that how like weird it is. And like, no, I get like, it. Is that delusional? Like, you're not like, be, be real. But like in his defense or his, how could he have done that differently if he was shooting? I mean, like his as a creative, I can definitely come up with different. Like ways. just hold the camera and vlog, like I that's don't more know. real. Yeah, I guess. But just, it's like, what makes it fake or what makes it weird? I don't think it's fake because it's uh, yeah. the camera. He's just setting it up, but showing the process is actually way more real than not showing the process. Yeah, maybe it's just people who they don't get it. They don't get it. We get it, but. I see both sides and usually, you know, it's hard for me sometimes to see the other side. But like yeah, I, I can s- too. It's a little extra. Well, I even for us to even do that. Even the girl that was like coming at influencers saying she's sick of seeing influencers, I know I said like, okay, if you're sick of seeing it then like do your filters, figure it out. Like you don't have to watch it, don't follow them, whatever. But I can see her I guess like I always try to see someone's point of view and understand where they're coming from because even just something as simple as like me doing the keyword thing, like stuff I didn't want to see. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I'm not coming on TikTok and saying, I'm seeing all this breastfeeding content, all this mom postpartum content, and I do not want to see it. I'm sick of seeing it, blah, blah. Right. So I think that's what makes it different because it's like, I'm just going to handle it myself and figure out, okay, how do I navigate if I don't want to see this? One, don't get on TikTok. That's mm-hmm. the first step for me. Yeah. But I don't know. I try to see her side of it and it's like, it can be exhausting even seeing, I think she was talking about just like unrealistic stuff, like stuff you can afford. I don't want to see you promoting a $300 blanket and telling me I need this blanket. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Like that's, that's not realistic. And a lot of people that watch this quote unquote, like unrealistic content, that's not their lifestyle. And a lot of the people that consume even our content, they don't do what we do. Right. But I don't know. Isn't that all like a part of it? Like people love to watch other people's lives but then how are they gonna hate and be like well i can't do that or i can't afford that you know i don't know like i see her side but then i'm also like but there's a how yeah i don't know there's an audience for everything though because like even right now i'm thinking of we've get we've gotten dms of people saying like two things like one i feel like all you do is post ads or all you do is post brand deals or hey can you post something that's affordable yeah, it's actually crazy because that just happened to me a couple of weeks ago. And yeah. I was already like, no one sees the behind the scenes. No. So I was already talking to you saying, I feel so bad because I have to post like three ads in a week on my Instagram. And I don't like to do that. I like to space them all out and I want it to be organic. It's always organic, but to post them back to back, like yeah. I get as someone following me, how that could be kind of like, quote unquote, annoying or whatever. Yeah, but this is where I like, I disagree. And what did I tell you? Like you, you said, I, it's my job. Yeah, or, it's like no a doctor, a person making so much money, like in life, or just like it, it doesn't have to be so I, much. Don't money. do doctor because like they're literally saving lives. Well, I'm just saying, like I'm no, I'm saying like they're not apologetic about doing what they love, doing what they love to do, and like the money that they're making, and That's they true. they go into work and they just they do what they got to do. Like no, why do we? It's our job. Why do we have to feel a certain way that we're posting? And at, like, if it wasn't like, there's an ad on this podcast. Like, if it, yeah, if I it feel wasn't, like that's how we make money. That's how we are living. All right, y'all. So Christmas time is right around the corner, and we have the best gift idea 
right here for you. It is called Paint Your Life. With Paint Your Life, you can order a custom made hand painted portrait in less than five minutes delivered to your doorstep in less than two weeks. Here's the thing. I'm all about meaningful gifts. Like I love something that has meaning behind it. And the photo that we got painted, you guys, it was our first photo shoot as a family of four. And I will literally always remember this day and this moment. So to have it painted is so special. And I've only seen the, they like let you in on the process every step of the way you get to approve the mock-up and stuff. So I've only seen that. I haven't seen the painting IRL. This is your first time. Why wow, they got the tattoos and everything. Okay, here we go. Ready, three, I can kind of see it a little. Two, I peeked. One. Wow. Y'all, if you're just listening, <laughs> we're shocked. It It's the detail for me. Like you see it in the process and you get yeah. to see, we got the video. So we got to see the artist painting it, mm -hmm. but to actually see it in person, like I can literally see so much detail. Hold on. I need to look at it again. Yeah. So y'all this holiday season, you can give the most meaningful gift you have ever given from paintyourlife.com. And there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is re funded guaranteed and right now is a limited time offer get 20 percent off your painting that's right 20 percent off and free shipping to get the special offer text the word for us to 87204 that's for us to 87204 text for us to 87204 paint your life celebrate the moments that matter most message and data rates may apply see terms for details all right y'all let's get back to the episode i feel like the real i feel like honestly the, those comments that we get are like few and far between and i think but it's a thing though on social media oh yeah, yeah. Don't, definitely but for us at least i feel like the majority of our audience and our followers are the best and so supportive of us I agree. because i've even done disclaimers before like on my instagram i think we have on youtube just saying like hey you guys just want to like say how much we appreciate your guys' support. There's a lot of ads, whatever, like your guys' engagement really helps. I've seen other creators do it too. Yeah. And just basically saying like how grateful they are for their audience and just for like loving everything they post, even if it's an ad, blah, blah, blah. But it is crazy that like we have to explain ourselves. Like I even just saw a creator, she's pregnant. And so she said something on her story saying like, thank you guys for, um, the extra amount of ads that have been like going up lately, I'm trying to kind of batch in order to take a proper maternity leave. Mm -hmm. And like, how crazy is that if you think about it? Because like, why yeah. would she have to say, basically sorry for all the ads? Like what person working there nine to five would be like, I'm sorry that I'm working right now so I can take a maternity leave. Like that's, that's I, crazy I actually. I think it's, it's, it's because of the type of job that we have. Yeah. But the thing is, anybody can do our job. Yeah. I cannot do a lot of other people's. I can't be a doctor. Yeah. I can't. I mean, yes, I can go to school. I can do like the thing, but like it's like easier right now. for someone to do what we do. And I don't know, maybe it's, they just, they see that we're doing this and it's just, I don't know. It's not yeah. accessible. They don't think it's accessible, but it is Yeah. to do this job. What do you think about when people say that, influencers or like this job is like so easy and they don't like hearing I've seen I think it's like on TikTok or something of people being like I don't like when I hear influencers be like oh I'm so busy today I have to run errands I have to get my nails and I have to do this I have to do that and they're over here being like no that's not an errand like that's a luxury that's what I do on my day off blah 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 all this stuff yeah but I do see both sides but okay. then I'm also like what sometimes like as a viewer people don't understand is that like those errands okay let's just use emily kaiser for example nice. her errand vlogs are her content that's her job definitely going to sephora getting her nails done getting her hair done getting going to target and so people will be like well that's what i do on my day off that's not work no, no, no. You don't know what goes into the behind the scenes of creating that for you who's watching it and loves it. But even then, there's more behind the scenes than that. There's the oh, behind yeah. the scenes with doing like, let's say like an Aaron vlog or something like that is one, she could be doing this working with some of those brands and y'all not even know it. Yeah. Like she could be going to Target and have like a Target deal or going to Sephora and getting a product and have but like a deal. But it doesn't even matter. Even if she doesn't have a deal, like she's doing I know. her job. Yeah, no, she's, li no, she's literally doing her job. But I'm saying like the behind the scenes of that is um, she is potential. Like she like the behind the scenes, let's just go cut straight through, like straight to it. If we were to go to Walmart or we go to Target or we go anywhere and we go get a brand or something like that, we are for us 
we're not, maybe we're not might not be working with them now, but we could potentially be wanting to work with this brand or something like that. And, you know, uh, they pay us to promote or whatever. But to, in order to do that, people don't some people don't know this. You, we have to kind of promote it and do it for free in a sense or whatever. sometimes some. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, in her mind, she's probably because like people tag like she's tagging like all the brands that are in that vlog or something like that. She's doing that thinking about, okay, well, I could possibly work with this brand or I can make commission off this that I'm tagging or whatever that I want you guys to to go watch. Does that make sense? Go watch. To go um, buy. buy or whatever. Um, no, that makes sense. But And I, that's all I a part still, of the job. Yeah. But I no, all I was saying is I think it's just crazy. I think people, I don't think it's all ignorant people. I think it's truly some people just don't understand. Like, uh, I don't know. I think it's not, it's not that hard to understand. So I feel like people are s- literally trying not to understand. Yeah. That's or me. they just are hating truly yeah. because it's something like, honestly, I will say like, and we, we've said this, like our job, our job is a dream. Like we feel so blessed to be able to do what we do, but it's not all rainbows and sunshine and just the easiest, peasiest thing. Yes. It's a lot easier than other jobs. Yeah. It's easier than being a doctor or like. Any other job that you have to really, I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say like use your brain, but we use our brain. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, yes, it, anyone could argue that our job is easy, but what people see is not what it is. No, definitely There's so much more. Yeah, no, it's, um. I feel like a lot of people know that too. I hope they know that. And I hope we don't come off as like privileged or anything like this. This didn't, for some people, it kind of can fall into their lap, this type of, but like we worked for this. Yeah, we and did. we're still working for this. So like, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a difference with that. Have you seen the TikTok of this chick? I, it's like pretty big, but I guess Charlie D'Amelio has a documentary or something, or she did an interview. She has a show. Oh, she has a show, Her but I don't know what this this oh. clip is coming from though. Oh. It could have been an interview, and she was talking about how when she hit a hundred million followers, she was super depressed and alone and like. It was the lowest time for her or whatever. And this chick stitched it and was saying, we have made the wrong people famous in the sense of, I got to get these words right. She was saying, um, her having the reason she got a hundred million and, uh, is, was because of her dancing and her being and her stuff just going viral. And that was that. She was saying a lot of people would die to a lot of influencers would die to have a hundred million followers. And she was saying that it's, it doesn't make her invalid. Like her feelings, like she could have been depressed and she could have felt a certain type of way, but it's like, we don't, we can't relate to that struggle because your life is totally different than, than all of ours. No, I don't agree. I a hundred percent agree. No, hundred percent. I'm actually, let me, what, speak your piece. I don't agree because it's not fair to put people on a pedestal just because they have more money, they have success, they have fame, whatever they have. That doesn't discredit whatever they're going through. No matter what it's related to, no matter what it stems from, depression, from depression, anxiety, whatever it is, just because they're Charlie D'Amelio or just because they're Justin Bieber I don't care yeah. whatever they're going through is just as much as like they have every right to feel the way they feel. And it doesn't matter that they have more money or more fame or more things or a nicer, ha- nicer house, nicer car. Yeah. Um, do you not agree with me? No, I do. But in this situation, um, maybe I need to hear the TikTok Cause I don't like, I don't understand like her saying it's not relatable yeah, she's not relatable. Yeah, like she's well, not yeah. a relatable person. Well, I mean, obviously someone with 100 million followers is not that relatable because not a lot of people. Ha- I don't th- I think she has like the most followers on TikTok or something. But that's that's not fair to be like, well, you have 100 million followers, so I can't relate to you. That's your own problem. Like, yeah, that'd be like someone coming up to us and being like, I've shared. We've been so vulnerable and shared super vulnerable moments. And then for them to be like, oh, well, you have a, a million followers on TikTok, so I don't really, like, I don't feel bad for you, or I can't relate to you, right. or not that you want someone to feel bad for you, but, like, I don't agree. I absolutely disagree. 
She absolutely disagrees. I cannot believe you agree. I am what? trying to I... get my bearings together okay. because <laughs> I I need to figure out what exactly she said because I definitely You did agree with her. I definitely agree okay, with her. Okay, so maybe you're not quite saying it right. And maybe I need to hear the TikTok. Maybe you do need to hear the TikTok. How do I find um uh history? I don't know. You're the one that taught me that. Uh, did you guys know that? That's so crazy. You can go into TikTok and you can find the history because sometimes you forget to save something that you like want to refer back to. And apparently you can go and find the history of everything that you've swiped on your for you page, which is crazy that they do that. But what do you think needs to change in this situation? So this girl's stitching Charlie D'Amelio saying yeah. that she's not relatable because when she hit. No, that, not she's not relatable that she. Her feelings, I guess, aren't that valid. I'm okay, guessing. that's even worse. Okay. You agree with that. You agree with the girl saying that because she has 100 million followers and is on a different, literally a different tax bracket, can't relate, that it doesn't matter that she was depressed? No, I didn't say that. No, her feelings are very valid. You just valid. said that her feelings aren't valid. Oh, they are valid. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. They oh, are Christ. valid. Uh-huh. But it's just, it's different because of, yeah, who you are and no. just how you got there. Absolutely not. That's a no for me. That's a that's a big no for me. It's a big no for her. Because, and especially because we can somewhat relate to Charlie D'Amelio. Right. So how are you going to agree? I can agree with maybe it doesn't feel relatable because you can't relate to her lifestyle whatsoever. I know, and they were saying like Alex Earl. Yeah. What were they is saying? Is more relatable when it comes to that. It's just more relatable in general. She was just saying, like, we make the wrong people famous. Like, Keith Lee should be, have 100 million. Like, Charlie D'Amelio shouldn't be, sh she was saying she we shouldn't have put the weight on, of being an influencer to, with, uh, to Charlie D'Amelio. You don't agree with that? No. Yeah. I can't believe you agree with that. Like, that's actually crazy because, especially because we know what it feels like. Obviously, we don't have 100 million. It's a different weight and a different Definitely thing different to carry. Weight. They yeah. have a full reality TV show. Like, it's a whole different ballgame that they're going through. Mm -hmm. But we can relate to, like, I would feel so hurt. My biggest thing is, like, I love being able to, like, connect with the people that follow us, share stuff we've been through to hopefully encourage them right. and help them through maybe if they've been through something similar. And so by her sharing that when she hit a hundred million, she was the most depressed and sad that she's ever been. I think that that, if anything can be relatable because it just goes to show that like to the world and to all these hundred million people, it looks like she's on top of the world. She hit a hundred million followers on TikTok. Like people think that that's like, the life goal they're like oh my yeah. gosh you made it you have 100 million followers right but that just goes to show that none of that matters it doesn't matter how many followers you have it doesn't matter how much money you have mm -hmm. your happiness like it doesn't they don't coincide like they don't affect one another no you're agreeing with me i'm not agreeing i am agreeing you're not even listening babe. i am listening babe i i truly am listening i'm just looking y'all I never look at the camera, but I know that you guys understand what I'm saying. I feel like I'm snapping right now. You are snapping. But I'm just so passionate about that because I'm like, that's not fair. That that reminds me of like the whole like celebrity pastor thing. Just because they gained a following. I mean, this is a little bit more of a sticky situation, so we won't really tap into that all the way, but I'm tap just into it. I'm just saying, like, just because they have a following, what makes them to be held to a higher standard. That's not fair. Like the whole Carl Lentz thing. Okay. How can he be like, he has more eyes on him yeah. and everyone knows him. Right. So he was attacked more versus this probably happens every single day at a small church with 20 people. Not every single day. That's extreme. But like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you never hear about it right, because agree. you don't know. Right. So I just feel like it's a similar situation a little different, but kind of similar in the fact of like, just because you have a platform or just because you have this or just because you have that doesn't mean that what you're going through, one, that you should be held to a higher standard, two, that you can't feel depressed. Like Charlie, I actually watched, I think I watched the interview you're referring to. Mm -hmm. And she literally said that she had moments of like wanting to take her life. 
Really? And so it's like, how can you say, oh, well, you have a hundred million and you have this and you have that. So like, sorry, but no. Yeah. I'm just going to stay silent because I don't, I can't find the TikTok. So you, you know, you're like backed into a corner kind of. No, I'm not that I'm back into a corner. <laughs> it's just, I, what Shorty was saying, I was agreeing with. Okay. So maybe, okay. Well, maybe. We and a do, lot of people were agreeing. Maybe we could follow up. If we can find that TikTok, because I actually would love to hear it, because maybe I would agree with you too. I yeah. think how you ex- how you explained it, I left out a lot of key isn't parts. quite right. Yeah, and do you agree? Okay, so based off your explanation and what I'm saying, you agree with me, right? Yeah. You said with the question. Mark. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so I think I need to see the TikTok. You got to see the TikTok, and I gotta and I gotta find it. You got to get your bearings. I got to get my bearings together. Your bearings are your bearings are gone. Your bearings are at the house yeah if somebody has seen that tiktok or knows what i'm talking about they're probably like oh i get you yeah right please comment or leave a review and let me know um i'm sorry but yeah um, (laughs) i'm sorry it's crazy i'm sorry it's wild (laughs) we um yeah i love when when we don't agree i know it's actually cool i mean like i could go back and forth like i think it's so cool right like Yes, we're married. We agree and have so many of the same values and morals, everything. Like, we, yeah. I feel like we agree more often than not. But then when we do disagree, it's cool because we can learn from each other and we can see each other's sides and each other's, like, perspectives and see kind of why you feel that way, why I feel that way. Yeah. And I feel like that's just important just in every, like, life in general and just people you meet and people you know because you can have friends. Like, we're married. So, like, right. obviously, we can be married and have different opinions. So, you can have friends and have... They can have different beliefs, different opinions. You don't have to be around the same people or people that all have the same beliefs and values as you. Because I think, I think it's so you can learn so much from people that don't have the same definitely opinions. And stuff. I agree. Yeah. And that doesn't mean being of the world. It doesn't mean that you agree, like yeah. you just said. And you, that doesn't no, mean that. But I think it's so like you can learn so much. Yeah. And you can be like it can be a teachable situation for you to teach them about like how you feel and why you feel the way you feel so even when we uh when we uh disagree but we hit we butt heads a little bit you do you still like it yeah i like you <laughs> is that what you said i said do you still like it like what do you still like because you say you like when we disagree you yeah. agree with me yeah i like it hmm. even when we argue yeah from a disagreement it's crazy someone said well well i don't know i mean yeah depends okay but no someone said about our podcast like they love that we just like keep in all the moments like the real like back and forth whatever i'm gonna do that but it's crazy because i feel like some people think like we've had a couple episodes where i feel like people think that we're like heated like mad at each other but that's just like we're not mad like that i love it like we could go back and forth all day all day shorty (laughs) but it's crazy because we're both so stubborn but i feel like you didn't really you didn't really give up that time. I mean, you did. Just now? I only gave up because can't I find had your, to. You can't find your evidence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stubbornness, that's a... That's, that's a, a different... That's a funny subject. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? I feel like you didn't admit that you were stubborn in the beginning of us. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm. You, you didn't don't. either, bruh. I did. No, you didn't. Okay, I did. We need what? A coffee table. Yeah, definitely. This is an end table, bro. Yeah. Me calling you bro is crazy. Me call, you call me bro I why? always accidentally call you dude. Yeah. This is my problem. Now, since living near family, I call my sister dude every single day. Every right. Everything's dude. Uh-huh. You're babe. So now I call you both. Like, I call you. I'm dude and babe. You're dude and babe. And then Des is also dude and babe. Yeah. It's just like, it's just a known thing. I really, I love you. You do? The question mark is absolutely wild. <laughs> one eyebrow. What? One eyebrow. One eyebrow? How do you do that? You raise one I- eyebrow. I can't do that. That's cool. I love you. No, I know you love me. Thank you. I would hope. Yeah. All right. Well, um, we're going to wrap this episode up here. We're going to wrap this episode up here, right here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you said it right. Yeah, this main shot is really, like, bugging me because, like... It's so off-center. Everything's just off-center The about carpet it. is, like, jank on one side. No, there's so much... Our new rug is going to be really good. This end table is crazy. I will... Yeah. What? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I love it. You do? I love my Nike socks and my ashy knees, too. I know y'all was looking. Your knees are... Oh, you can use a little lotion. See, that's not your line. Oh, that's not they're your not. Your knees aren't ashy. Yeah, thank you, baby. Actually, that is my line. Wouldn't you way rather someone be real with you? Yeah. yeah. What do I... What, you're looking for something wrong with no, me? No, you look... <laughs> what, do I need lotion? No. I probably could shave you know my legs. I feel about y'all on lotion. Can't tell. You can. I can tell if I'm touching. No, you can tell. All right. Okay. 
All right, y'all. We uh, love y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next episode.